Hey guys, it's King Pilates. So, today is about breathing and the psoas and releasing your psoas. So, breathing is, as you're growing in high school and, and college, you don't really have a lot of body awareness. So, it's very, all these breathing concepts, the older you get, the more you kind of get it. But like anything else, the younger we are, we need to feel something to understand it. So, the reason why the breathing and psoas are important is because where the psoas connects, psoas basically connects from the top of your femur all the way up on each vertebrae up to your rib cage. So uh, that's very much to your diaphragm, okay? So it's important because they're connected. So first we're gonna start out with some breathing exercises. And you know, you don't have to practice this throughout the day, it's just something for you to try because especially a lot of guys with, the, with lower doses or the anterior pelvic tilt, a lot of guys tend to be really strong up here, like I was in the very beginning. I was very quaddy in the upper abs, but the more balanced guys are strong uh, towards their, their lower ab and, and um, lumbar columns. So I'm gonna give you a little test. So I want you to do, go to a little go to a wall. Put your knees at tabletop around 90. Just go ahead and give a little pressure in your knees so your butt flares up a little bit. Can't get your hand underneath here, ribs in. Okay, so what I wanna, what did, take you uh, to do take your pointer finger and your thumb so take your thumb and dig it in your upper abs right above right below your your rib take your pointer finger or middle finger put it right on the inside of this ilium this hip bone right here right in your lower abs okay so what I'm gonna do take my fingers and put them here and now the way we're supposed to work and I did the opposite for a long time is when we inhale we want to feel those inner core muscles flexing i used to do the opposite just like a million people do the opposite but it's pretty simple when you see a if any of you ever seen a baby you ever seen them breathe when they breathe they go out and up okay and most people you know the guy with the beer a big uh drinking beer all day with a big beer belly it's it's kind of the opposite okay so Easy way to see if you're breathing right or which side of your abs are a little bit more active is this breathing exercise. So really dig in those fingers and as you inhale, you should be pushing your abs out. Both all your, your bottom abs and your upper abs should be pushing your finger and your uh, thumb pushing it out. So just a little breathing exercise. Just sit here for, for 20, 30 reps, take a deep breath in and relax and contract on the way in and relax. And on every single one, I want you to be flexing those abs and pushing those fingers out, really expanding your, um, your abdominal cage, okay? So that's the first one. And I think a lot of those guys, especially the kickers who've been pushing off your toe, you'll feel that it's a little bit less active in your, in your lower kicking abdomen on your, uh, on your kicking side because it was for me for a long time and I had to practice and get out of it. Okay, so that's one thing, just a little body awareness thing, but you remember, you, all you guys are the anterior pelvic tilt, very strong up here, but very low down here. So we can't just flip a light switch and get it strong. We gotta activate it, we gotta feel it, and then we can integrate with lots of other stuff. So all you guys, lordosis, anterior pelvic tilt, this is the secret weapon. So. It's very hard to get at your psoas because it comes on the underside of your spine. So you can get it if you have